Hey everyone, this is Ben back with you in the Midwest Model Shop. Uh, so huge shout out and thank you to all of you guys who've gone to our new website, themidwestmodelshop.com. Here's a link to it uh, and purchased a t-shirt. We really appreciate it. That's why Nora's not sitting right next to me here today. She's actually upstairs right now as we're speaking, uh, getting t-shirts prepped and sent out the door to everyone who ordered them. Uh, so thank you very much for everyone who's done that. We're hoping to get some new designs put in there as we can. It's, it's, it's kind of going to be a slow process and I have some ideas for other things to put on the website to continue to make it more interesting. So hopefully that's something you all enjoy. All right, so in today's episode, uh, we're going to go ahead and address the sea deck aft entrance to the second class. Uh, it's the second class entrance to sea deck right there by the library in the back by the aft well deck. We'll go ahead and address a bunch of things there. Uh, we'll start getting B deck cut up and modified and get the decks installed, the wooden decks, get that figured out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start working on the Parisian Cafe and the private promenades and go into detail with all that stuff. Uh, we're also going to go hit the, if you saw the thumbnail, the grand staircase. It's time to start addressing uh, that whole subject area and, and, and looking at some of the options that you've got there. So, yeah, not everything is like, there's not a lot like finished in this episode because these are all like little sub assemblies, but there's a lot in this episode. So anyway, thanks again to everyone who went to the website. Uh, let's get into the build. All right, everybody back in action here. So I think last time I spoke quite a bit about how I want to go ahead and create uh, this area right in here for the um, second class entrance into their library because you can see through these windows extremely well. So what do we got going on here? Uh, a couple of, so because I cut out the deck and because on this piece right here I removed an extensive amount of kind of the supporting structural parts of this deck, uh, I went ahead and added very carefully some posts. And even though this one's a little flimsy in the middle, I guess I could add another post that runs all the way down to the bottom of the ship. I put those in there because it lets me keep everything kind of tied together. Uh, be, when we when we glue these halves together we need this whole ship to kind of button up tight we want it to be strong and that includes having this rigidity right here because i'm probably going to end up cutting out this area or mounting lights in here up above i haven't made up my mind about that yet so we need to create uh these areas here so obviously I made some big holes so what we're starting out with here is just some uh, 0 0.3 0 0.3 inch thick um, styrene and what I've done is we use this one I, I created this floor uh, and it will drop in it's actually this one like this and that cutout follows the wall. Now how did I how did I figure this all out? So here are the plans and you can see this is the area that we are talking about. Here are our windows right along the bottom here and right here you've got a 30 inch fan, you've got a hatch cover, some benches and you know it, the, the windows end right here and then there's this hallway that walks around. So this wall is what I'm interested in duplicating. For the floor We'll just use some extra um, scale decks planking. I've got plenty of wood. We'll cut it out to match this shape and put it in place. Uh, and then we'll be set. But I need the walls. So I didn't know what the walls looked like. So I went online. Um, the video game they're working on, Titanic Honor and Glory. I went and took a little stroll through there. And this is what the inside of that area looks like. This is coming from the stern in. That's how you get this shape. And then once you get to the other end, the hallway, this would be looking through to the other side. This is from the uh, port side looking starboard. So this wall right here uh, is what we're going to do. So anyway, I started uh, marking out and cutting the walls and getting them set to you know, fit on this space. Uh, I've got some spare window frames from the trumpeter kit that match uh, 
as close as possible. And I was going to use this to get an approximation of what um, needs to be done. But anyway, I was talking to my buddy Neil from uh, Woody's Model Works, and I explained this all to him, and he was like, hey, what do you, what do you mean there's nothing back there? And he thought that that there was a wall back there. And I said, no, and you can see right inside, man, and so I'm going to go ahead and make it. So I go on a trip, I land, and he sends me this message. He goes, hey, dude, while you were sleeping, I went ahead and whipped this up for you. And he actually created in PhotoEtch uh, the walls that we need. And what was funny uh, is he used the exact same pictures I did. He went and, and got the same thing. So what that means is and he, he, he said he'll get them to me in about three weeks from the time that we're filming this. So what that means is uh, we could take a quick time out from here. I'm going to need to hang on to those floorboards that you see right there. I'm still going to need these or some variation of them. I still need my wall supports here. So we're good. So we, we've got all this and we can park it. So I, I'm going to wait for this to show up. So what can we do in the meantime? This was the last thing uh, really until we get to the B deck that I need to worry about. So we're up to here. Like so. Um, and then we've got stuff to do up here. Well, we've got our Parisian Cafe. And we've got our uh, little promenade entrance over here. And then we've got... We've got our private promenades that go up here. And fortunately, Neil has provided a ton of photo etch for that. So what, what do we have here that we are going to work with? All right, so starting out here on sheet, what is this? C. No, this is his copyright. Sheet E. Sheet E. Uh, this is the Parisian Cafe. Right here we've got our doors, we've got the private promenades with the pieces that get stacked up on there. Um, and then up at the top, this is the boat deck gymnasium. So we're not quite ready for those yet, but, but we're getting there. On this sheet F, we've got some first class corridors. I think this, is, this sheet will be moving on to next deck. We're not quite ready for that yet. Then moving over here, this is sheet D, I've got it upside down. Uh, Neil sent me instructions. I'll have to follow up, but like this is the Parisian Cafe ceiling. And these little holes are where the light bulbs come through. And this little area right here is for a set of the beams. And then this is the crossing beams. And then I think a couple, I gotta, I gotta get his m notes out. Uh, a couple of these pieces right here, those are also the ceiling parts for back here on uh, this end of the ship as well so yeah we gotta work on we're gonna work on those and I think that there won't be any problem putting them in uh, right now because I'll still be able to pull the deck out uh, and and then when we get uh, the pieces for underneath here we'll install them and if I get ahead of myself up here uh, we'll go back up to addressing this situation on the bow with the folk soul because that that was a whole mess a while back. So uh, right now, let's let's get this deck off of here, and let's get set up, and we'll start working on our private promenades, and Parisian cafes, and all the photo etch. Pressing on. Okay, so quick update here. We've got our B deck starting to go. I've obviously installed the scale deck deck, and then uh, as you can see here, I went ahead and did. Both of these staircases, just in a real basic way, uh, they're just painted white quick with some brown back here, and I put down the appropriate, I think it's the appropriate, uh, floor tiling. And the reason I did this is there's an off chance that you might see this from the above deck, so they're in place. Uh, then, as you can see here, we've primed up all of our parts that go, you know, wherever they need to go here for the you know, like the private promenades and things like this, they, they go into position. Turn that so you can see it, uh, like so. And the next step, actually, is to put these into position, like you see here, and then we have to carefully mark out the edge where this drops down and the scale deck stack ends. Because if we glue this piece right on top of the wood, 
we're going to have a fit issue with the next deck sitting up on here. Uh, we're also going to have a fit issue with our photo etcher attaching. So uh, we'll just put this like so, run a pencil around here, grab a sharp knife, remove the inside of wood so that this can drop into place. All right, uh, pressing on. Okay, here we are back in action. So we've started working on our private promenade. And what I've done is just gone ahead and uh, put some primer on. And then I've painted this area down here on the bottom green. I need to mask it off and get my proper white up above, but that'll work on in a second here. And then I've got uh, these little sections. I made this. This is just point, uh, zero 0.03 mil styrene, and they match the thickness of this wall at the end down here. And the reason for that is, see how I've ended the green right here? You're supposed to have another wall right here, like so. And the reason for that is doors go here so that you could come in, uh, I think this is second class entrance, and hang a right, in this example, to enter your private promenade if you are you you know, if you own this suite. So uh, now we've got our pieces uh, from Woody's Model Works. So what will happen is white, green, and this gets painted brown. Also, i got to put the photo etch windows in. They get painted brown. And then this piece... Brown will go in on top of it like this, and then you get your detail, and it's super, super nice. Uh, there's one little caveat. I'm going to zoom in and show this to you so you see what's going on. So I took this piece, and I took the other piece, and I very meticulously lined it up uh, with the door and these windows right here. And over here, I noticed that those windows don't line up. Uh, the way that we want them to. Uh, so I reached out to Neil right away at Woody's Models Works, and he double-checked, and unfortunately it looks like those are off a little bit. Something, something happened to them. So here's the deal. Uh, it's possible if you've ordered these that you might be receiving the ones that don't line up exact. Possible, because he's doing a correction right now with the manufacturer. I told him, don't worry about sending me these, because it's going to be very difficult to see into the windows to really notice that problem anyway. So all I'm going to do, and if you get one of these, you could do the same thing. Pick one of these three uh, spots. You could do like right here if you want. Cut it right there and there. Cut the photo etch. That's what I'm going to do. And shift this thing over that half a mil and you're set. You'll have a half a mil gap. And you just put a little bit of brown paint in there, and no one's going to be the wiser. Like I said, if you order these in the future, you'll have the corrected ones, and it won't be an issue. Uh, this is if you care. And also, you could just not care and just glue it on like this because it's going to be so hard to see. Sorry, the autofocus. It's going to be so hard to see down in that corner anyway. You know, not a problem. So uh, that's all I have to say about that. Crisis averted. Moving on. Uh, we'll get some paint on this. We'll come back to you uh, when this is and we have something to show. Okay, so back in action here, we're doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've got one of these painted up, and I'll, I'll get close-ups here, but I think what you can see up here in the photo etch is I've got some paint drying, uh, and while we're doing that, we're going to worry about um, a couple of other things. We've got a big mess of stuff going on here. So here is our B deck, and uh, earlier you saw that I had um, rough painted up the staircases just so that when you see down inside you can see something. Um, and then I've got a bunch of staircase stuff up here. So basically I realized that while I'm waiting for uh, another set of staircases from uh, Woody's Model Works, I have to do something about this one here in the back. Basically you got to move it uh, if you want to be more right, I guess would be the answer. So for some reason, Trumpeter molded this thing too far aft, and I'll show you real quick here what I mean. All right, here we are staring down into the uh, B deck grand. St no, I'm sorry, this is the A deck grand staircase coming up. See that wall right there on the right? That's not supposed to be there. The stairs themselves that you see in the middle here should be located right here to the right. This is the bow this way. That's the stern right there. So uh, if you could see down there, you would, you know, whatever, be centered. Uh, I was going to correct this on my build for the A deck, no problem. But then I realized if I correct that for the A deck, and you can see there's kind of a dark spot down there, you probably see the staircase underneath it being too far aft. So that means I need to move the 
staircase on B deck forward to the right spot. In an effort to try and keep life simple, I was just going to cut this out, you know, cut a chunk here and just slide the whole thing over and call it a day. But looking at this, I'm like, oh, I'm going to lose chunks of the stairs here and it's going to be hard. What do I do? Well, I realized I have a ton of 3D printed um, staircases. I got these from Amateur 3D Printing. Uh, they have a Facebook group. It's called Amateur 3D Printing. I'll put a link to them down below, and I'll write the name in the description. Very early on in the process, let's see here. Izzy, he's the guy who runs the place, sent me this box full of staircases. Most of them are marked forward staircases. I got a rifle through these because this was a lot of his early test prints. And so, like, it comes here with a clear photo etch correction not photo etch but acetate you know where he printed on the railings and everything and they're they're different colors this is like i don't know a lighter green color and this has a little bit more gold and he's got his templates and everything in there and it's for the entire staircase for all the decks to stack up on top of each other all the way up uh, but i just am interested in replacing one back here so uh, I think I'm going to bust this out and put one of them in. Uh, I had planned on doing like a Grand Staircase episode uh, because I'm going to get, well, I have these, and then I'm going to uh, get some from Woody's Model Works. His are a slightly different setup. He has 3D printed a different staircase, and then he has a photo etch set that you build up for the railings versus... These are just all printed, and so all you have to do is paint them up and then put your your railing in. And then if you want, he's provided the back walls, and they're in position too. So at risk of causing headache down the road, uh, I'm going to go ahead anyway. Why not live on the edge here? And I'm going to cut this one out, and I'm going to paint up and install one of these. And then... We're going to try and install Neil's for the Grand Staircase on the A-Deck on top of it uh, when we get to that point. It's probably a terrible idea, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to mix and match. So uh, we'll press on with that while we let the paint dry on our photo etch up there. Okay, it occurred to me I probably should explain myself. So uh, cut out the hole. All I did is remove this back area right here. Um, what I did is I took the width of the staircase, which actually looking through a hole seemed to be right, and I calculated that back. It's like eight mil uh, or a quarter inch standard, and cut it out and kind of got it straightened out. Uh, then what I did is I went through and you get a couple of templates from Izzy from Amateur 3D Printing. Don't use this one. I grabbed this one. This is this is, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but this is meant for helping you to line up the uh, railing on the top of the grand staircase. But it happens, I just grabbed a, a, a random staircase. It is wide enough uh, to fit the staircase into. So what I'm going to do is I got out my piece of styrene. I'm going to slap this down on here, and I'm going to cut out the opening, this, this space, I'm just going to leave a big piece left over, and we'll we'll go ahead and just slap that new piece of styrene down on top of here, and that'll give me my uh, opening that we need with the right shaped opening right here for the staircase, so that if you see down through from above, it 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 all looks correct and everything. So that's that's the process that we've got going right here. So that's that's what I'm doing next. So yeah, pressing on. Well, so much for keeping things simple. So uh, this works out really well. Here's here's my little plate. We'll we'll drop it on here like this, and we'll be all set and good to go. Uh, what's cool is this lifts up, uh, and because the uh, columns here are wider than the opening of the staircase, like they're supposed to, they hit the deck. Uh, from up underneath. In fact, I might need to widen this a little bit for my, my little master plan, uh, but it essentially it will come up and hit right here. What I'll do is uh, I think I'll widen, widen this deck so because I've cut this piece out so that it perfectly fits like so. 
and then we could just drop it in and we'll be good to go. But then you've got all this big opening underneath here. So I was like, oh, great. So now I need, <laughs> basically this is what's ha gonna happen here. I made a little floor. This railing will get glued into position like that. It'll sit like this. You have the appropriate opening. And then this will drop in above it. And then, you know, you might be able to see down there. We'll, we'll see when the ship's done. But I, I want light to be able to come up through there. And, it, you know, this is enough. But the other reason I'm doing this is this is kind of fragile. Uh, when I drop it in the deck right here, I need it to be protected somehow underneath while I'm moving it around. In fact, I might wait uh, until I'm done with the whole thing to install it. Uh, so this allows me to kind of build a little protective box, if you will, around it underneath here to hold the whole thing in position. So those are the pieces uh, that I've made, and we're going to put flooring and stuff on it. Uh, I just wanted you to see the parts for and explain how it all went together before I put it together. So the next thing is to prime this up, paint it, get the stuff on it, uh, get our deck glue, you know, our, our fancy tile work installed. Uh, and then uh, we'll put the little trims on here and yeah, we'll get this, get this thing installed. Okay, so here we are. Uh, may have gotten a little carried away, but you know, whatever. This is all from amateur 3D printing. Uh, and my buddy Neil from Woody's Model Works, I'll be putting his um, Grand State staircase together here eventually soon, always comments that the lower decks are good to work on because they're practice for when you build the ones that you definitely will see. So we've got our floor installed. The banisters are nice, uh, clear acetate prints they're put into place. I painted the stairs white and then uh, the banisters are a wood color to try and match the um, stuff that I taped on that you can see right there, those sheets. Well, they, I'm sorry, glued on uh, the walls that were printed out. So this is it uh, from the top. Let's see here, I got my macro lens on. Looking down, whoop, I got some dirt on there. This is what, this is what happens when you put everything behind on the camera and you zoom way in, you can see all your little mistakes. Uh, this is all pretty, pretty small. Um, try and hold there so you can see. The banister rails look nice. Apologize for the focus. Again, macro lens, difficult to do. And then, you know, it's not too small. Here's a Euro. Uh, Aussie money, what we got here, five cents, here's five pence, or not pence, sorry, cents, euro, or uh, pounds, what do you guys call us, pence, yeah, five pence, my apologies UK folks, I don't have your monetary values memorized yet, and then uh, a dime for the United States, so, uh, there you go, that's it, not too bad, and... So it's going to go like this. So I, I made these posts. This is worth pointing out. These posts are the same heights as the rail. And so this whole thing will glue in and stay secured to uh, the deck above it. I don't have to worry about falling down collapsing. I put some little supports on the back here so it doesn't move. And then um, the last comment that I have. So because I've doubled up the decks, well, not really. Yeah, I did actually. I doubled up the deck. This uh, headboard is not going to stick up. This wall isn't going to stick up too high that it'll interfere with the ceiling above it. As a rule of thumb, everything is 12 millimeters high uh, starting on the B deck on up. And so this ends up measuring, I think, at like 10.2 or something like that from the top of the stair, but we're losing like 4 mil. Like, not a lot's going to stick out of uh, the top. So let me actually show you how that works. Okay, so here's our piece that we uh, made up and slapped on top here. So basically the way this is set up, we're just going to take this staircase and slide it right on up. And that's it. It stops. It sits in place just like this. Now, there's supposed to be a banister that goes around here. Uh, I'll evaluate that when I get the next 
deck in on top of that uh, or look at it and see if I want to add that detail. Um, I do have a banister, but I don't know that you'll really see it. I mean, maybe you will. Well, I don't know. Anyway, that's how it works. And then the bottom you can see here, hopefully that shows up really well, the posts on our four corners match with the banister posts. They all uh, tie right into the bottom of the deck. So this whole thing will glue into place. And if I have to, I could glue it you know, now and set it down uh, before installing it. But I, I kind of think I'm going to leave it off like this so I can move this around and not worry about damaging that. So, okay. Um, yeah, it was good practice for something that I don't know that you're ever going to see any of, but you guys see it right now. So it's it's a really cool piece. We're going to do an episode on, on the Grand Staircases. I've got some ideas coming up down the road, but I guess this is a nice little preview. So, okay, pressing on. Okay, here we are. I uh, got our private promenade photo etch metal glued on from Woody's model works. Um, so just as a general look, you can see turned out very nice. I'm going to zoom in here by using the zoom feature. So remember I said uh, they didn't fit right? Well, let's see. If you look very carefully here, see that? I cut it right there and then just filled it in with paint. And there you go, fits just fine. Uh, same thing on this one. You can kind of make out that seam now that I hold up really close like that. So if your kit does this and you've got problems, go ahead and make that cut. Also, a pro tip, this back wall needs to go on first and then the sidewall piece. That's the way it's designed. Uh, we've got our doors right here um, that I custom fit. So or made that, made this uh, piece of styrene for because the kit doesn't come with that. So anyway, that's that's pretty much it. They're not totally done yet. Uh, I need to put glass in the portholes, and I need to put acetate on the back here for these windows, which we'll get to. So these are not your only options, though, uh, as far as, as the private promenade goes. If you go online, I know I've shown this before, you can get the paper cutouts. Um, and just Google Titanic walls. They're also on the 1200 Titanic's Tips and Trips Facebook page. Just do uh, under the resources tabs, you can find all kinds of paper things like this. Uh, and then very early on, uh, I went online looking for extra stuff. And when I mean early on, I mean like when this model kit first came out. Uh, I found these on the internet on eBay. These are actual wood veneers that you would uh, they've been laser printed and you get a port and starboard side you need to you know pop out very carefully the insides um, I haven't tried them I guess I'll just hold it over here it seems to be right ish generally speaking for those purists who want actual um, wood veneer they've they've got you know all your little parts right there that that you would need so those are the three options that I'm aware of uh, for dressing this up and my original intention was to use these uh, at least just to see because this is I don't want to call it overkill but it's gonna be hard to see this we'll, we'll see um, so we're not totally done also right here and right here are there are space heaters and um, those are right here on the photo etch I need to I'm gonna wait until I glue this whole thing on to the ship uh, before I cut those out and install them. but let's take a look at what that might look like okay so here this is our starboard side and I see I removed the wood from that edge right there so that the scale deck stack doesn't interfere with any of the height so um, of the wall because we want to sit flush on the kit floor as it was originally intended so it's gonna sit just like that and then uh, right here I don't know why Trumpeter did not include this wall they just left a gap right there uh, we'll be taking this door and we'll glue it in and make it all fit up real nice like it's supposed to uh, if I let go, hey, we got lucky and it held up there. So that's what 
it's going to look like. And I think that that's, I mean, it's really, really sharp looking. Um, this is probably the best view we're going to have of it because, yes, I'm going to light it from, you know, the light will be coming through from behind. Uh, Woody's Model Works also includes a ceiling area for here, so we'll put that in, and I'll try and get lights to come down through there. Uh, but you guys could see it all here now. And this is the, I think, the second class entrance way. I, I feel like it's, that's right, maybe it's the first class. I don't know. You guys comment down below. I'll look it up and figure it out. But, uh, yeah, this is it for right now. So I think what we're going to do at this point uh, is call it a wrap on this episode because basically we've got all that done. We've got our staircase ready to go down there. And then I've got all of these pieces up here that need to be painted up and gotten ready to go. And we've got, you know, our Parisian Cafe is going to be its own whole little thing that's got to go in on the side here. And all I can do, I, I'm just going to prep all of this because these pieces, this thing flexes so much. I, I don't want to risk uh, gluing these pieces in and then in the process of fitting and testing have something flex and break. I want this glued into the hull and secured into position and no longer moving before I commit to gluing these down. Obviously, we'll have to put the staircase in first. That's that's just too bad, too sad there. But everything else we want ready to go. So I think we covered a lot of material here in this episode. I hope everyone's doing well. Remember to go check out the Midwest Model Shop dot com for t-shirts and merch. Hopefully we'll get some more stuff in there. But I think I did a I think the website's pretty cool and we got some t-shirts and stuff for sale there. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you soon.